the new update is out and with it comes a new dungeon the imperium forge so with this update comes a lot of new gear sets and new items named items for the dungeon so let's take a look at, look at it of course we'll be using nwdb.info for all the information for this so pretty useful site go check it out if you don't know about it already but it's pretty popular in new world first let's take a look at some of the items we first get a whole set here fire lord cross cross i don't i can't pronounce his name but it comes with strength human ward vigor refreshing of course it's a heavy set a full heavy set that we can obtain from it so pretty good for tanks if you're a tank definitely get your human ward set some nice refreshing and vigor on it so that you can get rid of those burns in the dungeon probably but let's move on next up an amulet heart of fire this one is pretty good for light users i guess light mages which is pretty popular in the new update so it comes with intelligence shirking dot clans after dodging an attack in a light equip load lose one debuff which means bleeds, poisons, and so forth. It does have a 5 second cooldown, but pretty good nonetheless. Plus health and flame protection. Flame protection probably going to be super important in the next update, since they're updating the fire staff. Moving on to probably one of the best rings for mages. Well, one of the best drops for mages, since you don't have invigorated punishment on this, but you still get refreshing. For example, if you're playing a medium fire mage or even medium blunderbuss, this will be a great addition to your drop drop sets. So let's take a look at refreshing, fire damage and burning. Super good for fire mage or a blunderbuss. Moving on to an earring. This is a dexterity one. This one comes with refreshing toast. Super good. Best in slot perk. Refreshing also super good. And nimble. I think they're going to buff Nimble a little bit, but I'll probably have to test it. Since I used to test it, I do have an older video, but I'll probably take a look at it at some point as well. Moving on to Pants, nothing super good. It doesn't have Ward or Resilient, but comes with Empowering Fireball, Refreshing, Invigorated. We can skip that one. Another Shoes, which is useless, in Meteor Shower, Refreshing, Vigor skip that one now we have human ward with intelligence light gear set definitely if you're going to go ice gauntlet you might want to look into this unbroken wind wind chill has grit and deals 24 percent extra damage and you gain 10 percent max mana at full wind chill super good perk if you're playing with ice gauntlet and using wind chill plus refreshing human ward definitely definitely worth getting if you like pve a heavy chest here which is warriors respite or something constitution human ward vigor refreshing super good for heavy moving on to a headpiece human ward physical aversion refreshing evasion if you play spear and want a medium head probably good for you as well but if you play pve uh, constitution 15 dexterity amulet so let's take a look at this one Health, refreshing, empowered. So not the best, there's better amulets out there. Moving on to a ring. Keen awareness, leeching, infilibling. Better rings out there for strength as well. Let's take a look at the next one here. Earring. This time the earring comes with intelligence, constitution. Refreshing toast, nimble, refreshing evasion. Also super good, but you can probably get something that you want from another dungeon. Uh, a new musket brass opener keeny empowered vorpal empowering shooter stance i think the new musket meta will you will have to have the accuracy perk on it so this one is pretty useless and next up a best in slot life staff people used to pay gold cap or over for this life staff so this one comes with constitution focus and then it has bless refreshing move and mandarin mending protection so super good we already get like a lot of life staffs in game that's like best in slot 
but this one just adds to it. So healers are going to be super happy about this one, but really, really good. Moving on to an ice gauntlet. This one comes with intelligence, refreshing move, vicious keen. Not the worst, not the best, but it does have refreshing move and vicious and keen. It's useful. Definitely, you definitely can use this. Moving on to an void gauntlet. Slowing Tether. I don't think Tether is super popular, but it also has Keen and Keeny Empowered. I do not think you want Keeny Empowered. You'll probably get uh, capped on Empowered if you have Keeny Empowered with Void Gauntlet, but nonetheless, there it is. Let's take a look at this Fire Staff next. This one comes with Intelligence, Keeny Jagged, Accelerated Flamethrower. Definitely not the best Fire Staff out there, but yeah. I guess you need some bad drops as well as good drops. Uh, next one is Fire Starter, the Spear, Chain Lightning, Enchanted, Keen Volt Kick. So pretty good. They did nerf a lot of the, the critical hits. So Keen Volt Kick might actually start to be good if you want to crit a lot. But nonetheless, just the basic one here. Next up, a little Rapier. For, that has human bane, rogue and a refreshing move, so pretty good for PvE, rogue for that backstab damage and you have the bane, so pretty good nonetheless and the refreshing move to get your evades up so that you can do more damage. Let's move on to a warhammer, they did nerf warhammer quite a bit, so you need, it comes with human bane, chain fire, kini empowered, Maybe you'll need the keenly empowered, but you can empower yourself with heavy attacks. So you might be capped there, but yeah, nonetheless, super good Warhammer if you just want something for PvE because it has human bane on it. There also is a little sealed broad buckler, just a little small round sealed that has empowering breaker. When your attacks are blocked, gain a stack of empower, keen and a refreshing move. So nothing too special for for the shield unfortunately but at least they included something it's the only shield in the dungeon i believe so shield users are probably going to be disappointed let's get on to the next one a hatchet fire of battle this one comes with strength which is keen berserk and life stealing so nothing incredible i do believe there's better ones out there but yeah i guess they include it next up headshot which is a bow this bow has Vorpal, Empowering Explosive Arrow, and Human Bane. Again, it has Human Bane on it. Not a lot of weapons with it yet, because it's a new dungeon. So definitely a good starter bow if you want to do some damage in the new dungeon. Let's take a look at Spark Powder, a blunderbuss. This one has Vicious, Human Bane, and Chain Fire. Luckily, NPCs doesn't have res Resilient, so Vicious can be used on the blunderbuss chain fire also pretty good it's not in tournament but you do get some use out of it since the blunderbuss you do want to have a fire damage ring so chain fire not the worst but also not the best let's move on to the another one i think we already saw this one brass opener so just the kini empowered portal empowering shooting stones some of them are duplicates that i have seen but yeah Moving on to Molar's Axe. This one has Strength, Enfeebling Maelstrom, Shine Fire, and Enchanted. Actually, not a bad one. Enfeebling on the Great Axe is not bad. Shine Fire, a lot of AoE damage. And Enchanted, you will be auto-attacking a lot. So not the worst Great Axe. Definitely worth a pickup if you want it. If it had Bane on it, it probably would have been better. Let's move on to a Great Sword. This one has Human Bane, Transcend Strikes. You're probably going to heavy attack a lot, but Keenly Empowered, you probably already kept on Empowered if you use the Great Sword, if you're on Onslaughter Stance, so probably not the best, but nonetheless, it has two good perks right there if you heavy attack a lot. Let's take a look at Sword, Fire Lash. This one comes with Chain fire enchanted and contagious reverse step so you can transfer those debuffs from you to the boss but no bane so 
and also not too good for PvP. So not the best, just an average one. The repair next, Dicer. This one comes with Dexterity, Keen, Leeching Flurry, and a Refreshing Move. Nothing too crazy. And I think they did Nerf uh, Flurry. I'm not sure, but yeah, nothing too crazy for the repair either. And next up, a Hatchet, Rough Hauser. This one comes with Strength, Human Bane, Rogue and Keeny Empowered. A pretty good Hatchet to start out with. Definitely two damage perks and Kini Empowered probably not the worst for PvE as well. So super good one that you can pick up. I'll probably be using this in the new dungeon since Hatchet probably one of still have one of the best weapons to use. Especially they did nerf the Fire Death but it's actually a buff in, if you ask me. So the Fire Death is not dead. It's actually a little bit better I believe for PvE and PvP. So definitely take a look at it this one they might change it still but this is still early days but pretty good if you want to go dungeon diving with a musket here's probably one uh, human bane vorpal and the refreshing move they did say they are going to buff muskets and ranged weapons as well as mage weapons but we'll have to take a look at that in an update moving on to a uh, fire staff forging staff this one comes with Human Bane, Keeny Empowered and a Refreshing Move. So you can get your abilities back, get some Empower and you have the Bane perk on there. Probably a good Fire Staff if you just want to get into running mutations and then eventually upgrade it. But you get a, at least you get Bane on there and the Refreshing Move for your abilities. And then lastly, the Frost Heart. I hope that's a correct but. It comes with Intelligence, Enchanted, Deadly Frost, and Keen Empowered. No Human Bane for the gaunt Ice Gauntlet here, but nonetheless, pretty good. That's all the name drops for the Imperium Forge. Make sure to go follow me on Twitch if you want to see me stream the dungeon, and I'll see you in my next video.